Hello friends. Yes, yeah, so today I'm going to talk about like the interview calls. If you are applying from outside Europe to the European companies and European employers, but you are not getting an interview call, right? Because I like received many emails and received many calls about that. Okay, I'm applying through LinkedIn. I'm applying through Indeed. I'm applying through Monster. I'm applying through many very uh, job portals, but I'm not getting an interview call. You know the job criteria is perfectly matched to my qualification, my experience, but I'm not getting interview call at all. Why? 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 It means the European employers because they don't want to hire like uh, anybody outside Europe. Yeah. Yes. And LinkedIn, you know, I'm applying to LinkedIn. Ah, LinkedIn it doesn't work at all. You see, like I tried many times. I don't get like I just got rejection. That's it. Yeah. So you can blame everybody, right? You can blame to European employers, you can blame LinkedIn, you can blame other job portals, right? Come on, it's the time to look at your, yourself, your preparation, your documentation and your the way of processing, right? Because you are not there like, uh, for example, you are sending an application, right? You are sending just documents, that's it. You are not there okay to tell okay i my job requirements are completely fulfilled and i am the best match for this particular job you are not there your documentation should tell about yourself right and they should be the best one right okay so forget about all these things i will tell you most of the things here why you are not getting an interview call and what you should be improved you should improve right so i will tell you what are the like covid one by one number one you know like 80 percent of job 80 percent of job like you know like uh, the company posts uh, are posting on the job portals even the linkedin or indeed or whatever and talent hub but but 80 percent of job 80% of jobs you can get by the right working. You you have listened this word, right? Ah, somebody telling you should make connection on the LinkedIn and you will get support of that link. And you can ah, they are just telling like this. Like I am very much qualified and I, I will get a job like but just apply. Come on. They are telling the truth. Why they will tell just a lie? Because they are telling the truth what is happening. Right? If I am a hiring manager and there are some good people like under me and they are working, if somebody will uh, just suggest, okay, one, one person is very nice, like you can just, I will forward his CV or whatever, you, maybe there will be 90% chances that person will get an interview call. Yes. What is LinkedIn? You know, like in my list, LinkedIn is the number one. Seriously, if you want to get a job in Europe and if you're applying from outside Europe, outside European Union, LinkedIn is the number one. Everybody knows this. There are Indeed as well and Monster as well, other like job portals as well. But LinkedIn is definitely number one. Why? Because LinkedIn, by using the LinkedIn, you can make a professional networking. Professional networking. How can you make a connection, right? So, what you need to do first thing what you, that's you are not doing you're just applying bulk of jobs all together without even seeing what you okay one cv maybe you are sending everywhere and the cover letter just little change you are sending everywhere okay forget about this first thing you now okay i'm not blaming you what you you have been doing earlier but first thing make a good connection through the linkedin in your field and just don't send just connect the request no 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 not at all okay maybe you might not have the like the paid membership or the, that is called premium membership okay that always helps yes that will help you but if you, even you don't have you can just make a like a, at least you can send a message right so that message you can just send right uh, Okay, I want to connect you because I am from the same field and I have seen your work experience and this and I will be highly like grateful if you would accept my invitation. You should be more polite. 
because you will get benefited not that person so you have to show that you are definitely eager and you will be like uh, for example feel proud you are very humble to connect that person because that person is very experienced and definitely he might have it you he or she whatever yeah so you need to please start improving your connection yeah because i also got got many like uh, for example invitation in linkedin and i always because because i also had been in the same situation so i always accept and if they want advice i help and please those person i already talked to them and i gave some advice please at least comment in my youtube video okay i am not like uh, telling my just okay give and take i'm just telling so others should know like yes people help but this it depends on your way how you are asking for help just just uh, sending randomly okay connect 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 or just invitation why why we should connect if somebody send me just random ka ah, connect connect please connect please connect what why i don't want to like connect there should be the proper reason right so you should learn how to like get invite how to send invitation in linkedin so you should be connected with the like the professional for people in from your background or in your field from other companies where you want to apply in future so this is your responsibility please this thing you should not forget this is the one of the most important thing other than uh, applying to the many job portal that is also okay i will discuss later but this is first thing what you need to do you need to improve your uh, uh, connection list in the linkedin okay so just search in your field like various companies and employers not directly to hiring manager maybe you can sort maybe the uh, product owner or maybe in your field maybe the genius developers whatever in your field so you should improve your connection and you should know how to get connected yeah those person not only like can help you and can suggest you how to prepare the document or means what you need to do or what should you know they can also refer you this is happening my friends this is happening this is not a joke if somebody is suggesting you this is happening okay so you understand this yeah so if you follow this this one basically if you get connected with the professionals like who are in the same company or who are in the same field so definitely there will be more chances you will directly just you know just need to they can forward your cv or maybe you can directly get an interview call right so your chances can be improved Yeah. Okay. Now let's come to the second point. Okay. Now, as uh, you know, like you are not there, like to tell about yourself. Your documentation will tell about yourself. Yeah. You will send the documentation. What documentation? The most important are CV or and your cover letter or they can say uh, maybe job letter or application letter. whatever you can say application letter job letter so for example your cover letter and cv these are the most important documents right other than your mm, scanned copies of transcripts or whatever or your degrees or diplomas but this cover letter and cv are the most important documents when you apply for a job so please understand because most of the like uh, job seekers when uh, i talked with them because i used used to help like uh, how to apply and what like i i, I give my suggestion like and i like to help so they are just applying just maybe for example without uh, changing too much in the cover letter without changing too much in the cv and they just apply they just apply 1 2 3 4 5 6 that's it just okay I'm applying for this post. Just they change the name of the position. That's it. And they start applying, start applying, start applying. This is not a good way. You must understand that it needs a lot of effort, a lot of determination, even to apply for a single job. It is not like uh, okay, just apply ten jobs and now I'm going to the nightclub. 
just applying five ten jobs and now I'm going to just uh, to visit my friends and just a part just will have some part come on it, it needs a lot of efforts so please remember your CV and your cover letter must be 50% changed according to the job requirements even you fulfill your re the requirements or essential requirements or desired qualification but your CV and your cover letter you think ah everything is there but somehow it does not match if you send maybe to like hiring manager they cannot maybe point okay what are the strong points or what like they cannot check you understand one more point your CV is too big. Come on, five pages, four pages, six pages. This is not a dissertation. This is not a research proposal. This is just a CV, right? Please remember, one or two pages of CV is enough if you want to get a job in the corporate sector or industry. This is not academic job. Yes, in the academic job, the CV can be maybe 10 pages or 15 pages as per the requirement. But in my opinion, in the industry for applying one page or two page CV is enough and maybe in the next video, next video will be only based on how to prepare the one page CV which will contain all the needed like information. Only the one page CV, that's it. If you make, if you make like uh, sending a four by five page CV, okay, for example, I'm hiring manager, right? What I will do? I will search. Okay. With what which what is important this page this page that page which page where is ah okay yeah oh he's very good in this C plus plus ah he has some experience in this the project as well right come on if I have maybe hundred applications hundred CV on my on my table why should I spend more time why why Okay, I have to select maybe, I have only three positions. Okay, I have 100 CVs here. So I will see, ah, only one page, ah, I check. Only one page CV, I will just see, okay, ah, this, 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 everything is clear. That's it. This is the person I want. Even you have, like, more experience, you have, like, very strong background, but I could not figure out from your CV. You understand? This is also one of the major issues. This is my experience I'm telling you. Please remember, one or two page CV is enough. If you are even you are an experienced person, doesn't matter. Just a one page or two page CV is enough. Take my words, you will get benefited. Yeah? And now that comes to the cover letter. What do you, in your cover letter, you just say about your responsibility. Okay, you did this, I was working this, 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 this. But how the other organization get benefited from your work? That you should include. Please remember one, one thing. Other thing in the cover letter, your cover letter, please check first the job requirements, what they want. Okay? Don't try blah, 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 blah. First thing, what the, are the job requirements and what are the other requirements? What are the other requirements, right? Because, you know, like, if they say, okay, uh, if, we did, if you know this as well, it will be an asset, right? It means, asset means, you will be a different person than the other job applicants. So, please understand your cover letter and the requirements, at least, most of the requirements and the other requirements should be there like okay you know all like you fulfill all the requirements and the other requirements as well please remember this and you should show the accomplishment and how like from the your work or if you have the previous experience how the organization get benefited even like for example you are a fresher but you did some project right you worked in the project you did some training so you should show this in the in accomplishment words, not like there's just a responsibility. Please remember, so your cover letter 
also matters a lot. For this also I will have a video. But please remember the next video will be of the one page CV. How to make a one page CV and I will give you the format as well. Completely written CV and you can prepare accordingly. Okay. In order to apply to the European employer. Okay. So that is you know you understand your document your documents your documents will tell you about yourself not you because you are just sending the documents so please remember they should be in such a way that anybody can attract yeah yes okay now the third point what is the third point there are other points as well but what is the third point third point is the recommendation letter your referees Please remember your referees if you like will put the referees name like uh, according to the job requirements according uh, like who are working in the same field very good seriously very good and if just, for example you are applying for the uh, sales engineer and you are like uh, for uh, giving a reference of uh, software developer it's okay it's okay but not the best one it is okay, it will work, but it is not the extraordinary reference. So your references should be extraordinary. You should find how to do this, but it is good. Right? And if the refer if you find the reference in the same company where you are applying, it is also very, very good. Extraordinary, that will be. But please remember, you should uh, give the names of referee in the same field, not like uh, um, they are applying in the engineering field and giving the names of your mathematics teacher or like uh, an English teacher. This is not good. Please remember this. Yeah, because uh, I, I know, like, I checked, like, in some CV, they just give the references of uh, contact details uh, from uh, people of other background. That is not good. That will not work. Yeah, they can accept your application. Yeah, their application will be accepted, but mm, what they can get. get uh, can ask about your like uh, uh, eligibility criteria from that person who himself doesn't know about this right so please remember this okay okay so let's come to the fourth point my friends don't show the large gap in the employment please remember don't show this is the fourth point never show the large gap like between the jobs okay uh, 2010 to 2014 I worked this and then 2018 to this what in the five years why what did you do please remember you have to show something okay whatever you did you have to show but do not show the gap between the employments please please remember this if you will show the gap they will just reject your CV please remember maybe uh, you will think okay i'm talking like just a very rude manner but please remember don't show any this employment gap maybe you are trying you are doing something maybe training or studying whatever you must show but don't show the gap my friends never okay let's go to the next point hey so this point don't show this old-fashioned objective right in your cv your resume don't show please Okay, this is totally old-fashioned. You just need to show your career summary, your accomplishment, what they want to see. Okay, do not do not do this, please. Okay, so this is also the one of the uh, I think most common issues, like in the CV, if they get rejection. I ah, just uh, object to my object to of my this is that I want to do this and I will do this and that. Come on, just show your accomplishment. Okay, career summary. Forget about this objective. Take my words. Okay. Let's come to the next point now. So as I told you that um, you can make a one or two page CV or resume, whatever. But there is also one mistake like in half of the page of the CV or resume, there should be your experience. If the hiring manager cannot see in the half of the page your experience, that is very, very bad CV, it means. Okay? So in the first half of the page, your experience should be there. That is the first thing the hiring manager want to see. Okay? Okay, this man has this experience in the same field. With some accomplishment, okay, already he had. So this is the main thing. So it should be in the first half page of your CV, your experience. 
understand my point yes maybe you better understand so let's come to the next point my friends do not use the functional cv or functional resume if you are showing the job like the details please use the chronological ones okay because uh, hiring manager want to see when and where you work so it should be the fully listed when and where you worked so the duration and where in which company so please remember this this is also the one of the most important problems in the cv or resume people do please remember this you have to uh, give the full details where and when and it can be done right if you say oh how can i be it be done if you are, you have just need to make a one page cv i will show you in the next video only the one page cv that will contain everything whatever you want well so understand my point okay so let's come to the next point this point is about the motivation do not lose your motivation come on do not lose your motivation because most of the uh, like uh, uh, job seekers when i talk to them they say oh, i am getting rejection i am getting rejection i have applied so many jobs i am getting rejection just try to improve like from every rejection just try to improve your document just try to improve your process what process i am telling in this video please you you must do from from one to last all steps you have to follow okay but don't lose hope don't lose motivation because if you have the negative mindset please my friends just forget about the job you must have the positive mindset come on you have the qualification right you can do it right so why not you should have the positive mindset okay they are rejecting it doesn't mean that you cannot apply in other jobs there are many thousands of jobs so then why you are don't demotivate it just improve there are people to help you i can help you to make your documents and all you you uh, i can give the suggestions you can prepare accordingly but do not lose hope okay that's why i am making these videos because you know like i i worked as a motivator i worked as a lecturer i worked as a researcher but now after shifting to the uh, like industry i have no time and my job is not like for talking or giving a lecture or giving the motivational uh, thoughts but now i can do i find i found the youtube is the best medium so i i, I am trying to help the people so please positive mindset is necessary especially when your time is not going good the positive mindset can change the time if your time is not going good right and you are also maybe putting the negative mindset so all bad thing like one by one one by one what will happen then what what will be what will be the outcome you understand my friends so please remember positive mindset is like you need it and confidence one thing i just want to tell you if you have little knowledge take my words i am not telling lies if you have a little knowledge okay and less experience but your confidence is high you are better than those who have the great experience but little confidence in my case i don't want to disclose now but i will maybe tell you later in the separate video how it helped me right i never had the experience of in the software programming or all but now i am working as a dsp software expert i will tell you in the detail maybe later but okay take my words your confidence level and positive mindset is very much necessary for you okay okay so let's come to the next point okay so this is the basically the last point i am telling you you are applying like for certain position in certain company right maybe you can find a lot of profiles in linkedin like from the same position like people who are working in the same company or maybe other company right you must go through their profiles and see like in their work experience and what they are doing currently please especially if you find somebody like in the same company in the same profile when you are applying for those part you must include in your cv in the same way it's not like uh, if you don't know you should include no 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 you know but in the same way you can include maybe you forget to include right you already forgot okay maybe this is not it. 
you must include that part because that is the maybe process that that is the basic requirement maybe this is the work they do in the daily uh, daily way right so that part must be included in your cv because you are including something okay in the same way but not the exactly what they want so please check these profiles as well if you don't find from the from same company maybe you can find in the other company and you also should go through the website of the company where you are applying so you can get some information maybe what they are doing in this 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 and you should include in your cv and in your cover letter as well that is the most important point right so please this is uh, all about like why you are not getting the interview call this will not like uh, okay maybe if you will follow all these like steps what i maybe told you it doesn't mean that you will maybe uh, next day you are getting the interview calls no but it will definitely improve your chances please remember this will definitely improve your chances and also don't take tension from the rejection don't take rejection i also got like many rejections i was a top in the btech system very good in the merit in the masters in the phd they asked me okay to publish three or four articles i published eight articles but the matter i got rejection when i applied to them for this like in the industry i got then i got successful rejection right so don't worry about the rejection keep applying keep applying but not like you have to apply in a smart way not just applying keep applying like maybe it, 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 this could also be the reason that you are not applying you think okay two or three jobs and apply that is enough no 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 keep applying nobody is harming you Okay, nobody is saying anything bad to you. Like, okay, why you are applying? Just apply. But please take in the mind you have to apply the smart way. What I discussed to you, what I told you, right? So I hope like this video will definitely help. And please, your parents and your students and your friends, please share this video to tell everybody what this could be the one of the reasons. And this will definitely improve your chances. Definitely improve your chances. You will see the difference. Yeah. So I think you like this video and if you like this video please subscribe my channel how to subscribe you just need to go to the home page of my channel just click on the dedicated teacher village near the video and go to the home page and just click on the bell button or bell icon so you can you will get notification and also subscribe button is there so you just subscribe and then share and like and please i need some comments from you if you like please comment okay maybe and also do not just see one or two minutes of the video it, it will not get nobody will get benefit like nobody if you want to just really need something there is some really good information so you need to go through my all all video like just need just don't go to just a part of the video it will not help for the talk come on yeah so okay then see you in the next video and next video will be how to prepare one page attractive cv that will be enough to apply at the european companies and the european employers okay so thank you very much for watching this teacher with this stay connected to me bye bye